Welcome back to the Getting Started series of Centerprise Data Integrator. In part four of this series, we are going to have a look at the Centerprise Data Integrator's capability to build complex queries and use them as a data source. Shared on the screen is a sample that we are going to get at. In Centerprise, you can build a multi-table query source by using data models. And that's what you're seeing on the screen. And uh, that, in essence, is the visual representation of a very complex query. And we'll have a look at that towards the end of this exercise. To build a data model, you go to the file new and uh, create a new data model. And data model is a visual representation of uh, the tables and the relationships. The user points to a database and reverse engineers the data model. So in this case, I'm going to point to the Northwind sample database that comes standard with Microsoft SQL Server various flavors. So I point to this uh, SQL Server database and uh, point to the Northwind database and uh, test connection. At the end, I see all the tables available inside this database. I can pick all the tables or I can pick the tables those are going to participate in my query. Say for example, in this case, I'm concerned with the orders and order details and uh, the orders are for each customer and the product for the order and all that. So in this case, I'm going to choose only four tables, orders, order details, customers, and products. I, ch I choose these four tables and click on OK. And as a result, what happens is that you can see here, the application has created the data model and it knows the relationships. Those are defined using the foreign keys inside the database. I can right click on any of these arrows and edit it and you can see the kind of relationship it is and uh, the keys participating in the relationship. In many cases, uh, you may or may not have the relationships defined inside the database. In that case, you can create your relationship inside this designer and this will be stored as a virtual data model inside the product. Now this data model can become a source inside our data flow. So let's go ahead and save this data model. And once it is saved, I can go ahead and create a new data flow. And uh, we can create a source using a data model source, also known as multi-table query in other versions of Centerprise. So I drag and drop the source and if I go to the properties, I can specify my data model. And in this case, I'm going to point to the data model I just created and uh, pick my base table using which I'm going to do the query. In this case, it's going to be the order details. And I click on OK. And now, if I expand the source, you can see here, it is presenting me with the entire structure where the top object is the order, de order details and uh, there's the orders underneath, there's the customers underneath orders, and there's the products. So now entire source is available to me and I can do drag and drop and create any kind of destination. Say for example, I want to take certain items from uh, the order uh, orders for the order details, certain items from the customers and certain items from the products and pull them uh, all together into one destination. And say in this case, I want to create a comma delimited destination and put my data into it. And I want to take only the product ID, unit price, quantity, discount. These are the four fields I took from my order details. And now I can take some fields from my orders, such as uh, my order date and uh, I can take uh, some fields from the customers. So for example, to which company it is being sold to, the contact name, the contact title, and uh, some fields from product, such as the name of the product. So you can see here I picked fields from various different tables, but since the application knows how they're related inside the data model, it can do the query, it can bring in the data for you, and you don't need to worry about how this query is formed. Now we can actually see the real query as well. If I do right click 
on the box and uh, go to show SQL you can see here it is showing me the real SQL that is generated behind the scene as you can see here it has taken care of all the left outer joins and uh, any kind of join that is required among different tables and the participating tables here are the orders the customers the products that all related to order details it knows how to do the query for you you can go ahead and uh, have a destination preview on this but before that let's point to a path where my data is going to go to and let's call it sample orders export because we're exporting data from multiple tables I click on OK and now let's go ahead and do a preview of the data and you can see here the application is running and it has pulled data from all different tables it is showing me in a visual way so that's how you can build complex queries and uh, export them into any kind of destination this concludes this exercise thanks for watching this video